Hello everyone. Welcome back to Newtonian Nation. We the physics student of Sri Ramakrishna College of Arts and Science are super happy to be back with another interesting video. In this video, I and Surya explains five interesting things about stars. Now, let's get into the video. Surya, have you ever noticed that stars names are kind of complicated and how they are classified? Yes, I do. There are 11 different data classifications, each refers to a star's temperature, luminosity and color. O and B type stars, for example, usually appear to be blue and are some of the hottest objects seen in the universe hanging from between 20 and 40,000 Kelvin, that's more than 11,000 Fahrenheit. And on the other end of the spectrum are the K and M type stars. These ones are comparatively orange and red in color and are comparatively cool. And approximately 3800 to 5300 stars are further categorized based on the speed of rotation and the type of elements that they contain. While the Hertzsprung Razel diagram in a chart used to classify them with hydrogen burning stars falling into the main sequence, section of the charts on the stars in the advanced stages of their lives being placed elsewhere due to the colors formed when they burst more complicated elements. Okay, Shankari, let me ask you now do stars twinkle at night? Let me make it clear, stars don't twinkle. It's because of the Earth's atmosphere and the effect is more noticeable the closer a star appears to be in the horizon. As the light passes through the layer of the gas that makes the atmosphere, it reacts to a varying density. So, stars don't twinkle, they seem to be twinkling. Surya, how many stars do you think there are in the universe? Oh, it's complicated. And I really have no idea. Could you tell me? Yes, yeah, sure. The amazing thing that no matter how huge a number of stars, you guess there are probably far, far more out there. Astronaut first calculate the estimate number of galaxies with our own understanding. It's thought that there are about 170 billion galaxies across 45.7 billion light years ago. Our own Milky Way has around. 400 billion, while the spinal galaxies hold around many. If we add all the estimation together, our all galaxy, you reach a total number of stars that are around 170 billion stars, that are 24 zeros followed by 1. That at last, thousand times as many grains of the sand on the earth. Really? Okay, let you ask me a question. How close are stars to us? When you look at the sky, especially on a clear night, it seems like the stars are quite close to each other. A grouping of them together into constellations also gives the impression that there is not a great distance between them. But it could not be further from reality apart from those that exist in the same systems as each other, such as finite stars. There are vast amount of empty space in between each other. The nearest star to us is the Proxima Centauri and it's 4.24 light years away from us on about 24 trillion miles. Even if our fastest rockets, which travel at about 20,000 miles per hour were to travel there, it would nearly take 150,000 years journey to reach there. Really great. Okay, let me ask a final question. How long do stars live? Life expectancy of a star is directly related to its total mass, which indicates how much fuel it has burned, somewhat counter. Individually, those with the biggest mass die much quicker than the those the star with less fuel. This is because the bigger the mass of the star, the faster it burns its supply of the fuel. Smaller stars such as our sun can continue burning for long time as billion years, while smaller can theoretically live up to 100 billion years, which is longer till the universe exists for. And with this, we come to the end of the video. Hope you found this video interesting. Stay tuned for upcoming videos on the channel. Until next time, signing off.